last uh, couple of weeks, we've been doing a lot of tutorials on converting different types of Office documents to uh, plain text uh, for the most part or other formats. And for the most part, uh, when we're doing the conversion, we lose a lot of formatting. Well, a viewer uh, brought to my attention another program uh, called uh, UnoConv. I'm assuming it means UnoConvert. Um, and this will convert any open office document to other formats. It also does, you know, Microsoft Office formats, as we'll get into here in a moment. Um, but first off, first, it has a lot of options. So if you check the man page for it, you can uh, look at all those options. We're going to look over some of them here real quick. Uh, first thing we're going to look at is we need to look at what different formats we can convert to. So the dash F is what, uh, when we're running the command, that's how we tell it what format we want to convert to, and default type is PDF. And uh, but it converts to a lot of different formats. Until we get a list of that, we have to use the dash dash show. So real quick, let's type in Uno Conv and dash dash show, and you can see we get a long list here. At the bottom here says spreadsheets, so we can convert spreadsheets to CSV files, database files, uh, data interchange format, HTML format. Um, if it isn't already an ODT file, I'm sorry, an ODS file, we convert to ODS file, um, XML file, PDF, all these different formats for spreadsheets. If we go up a little bit further on the list, you can see right here we have uh, the f for presentations, we have uh, bitmaps, ESP, or I'm sorry, EPS, um, HTML, GIF, basically a bunch of different uh, image formats. We also have uh, other open uh, document formats and uh, XHTML, HTML. so you can see we have a lot of different formats we can convert to here. Um, go up a little bit higher uh, and you can see that we have graphical formats. This is for um, the draw program, which I haven't messed with too much uh, in the past, uh, but we'll play with a little bit today. And you can see there's a lot of formats it can convert to. And same for uh, Word documents. It has a lot of different formats it can convert to, including uh, Microsoft uh, Word documents. So let's go ahead and get started. Let's first look at a uh, Word document I've created right here. And you can see I have different uh, fonts, indented, centered, bold, italicized, underlined, different font sizes. Now in the past I showed you how to convert using um, ODT to TXT, which would convert to a plain text, which would lose all formatting and uh, any, any images that are in there. So I even threw an image in here so we can see how that works. And also here is the name of the viewer on YouTube that uh, brought this program to my attention. Uh, Mala Tempora Current, I guess is how you say their name. So thank you uh, to that user for bringing this application to my attention. So I have saved that document as a document called mydoc.dot. Let's go back to the uh, terminal screen here, and I'll go into the folder where I have that saved. If I can remember what folder, when I name that folder. <laughs> I just created it just a few minutes ago. Ah, here we go. Text doc is what I call it, the folder. Okay, CD into that folder. And let's list what's in there. And as you can see, we have a DOT file, the mydoc DOT, which is this app, uh, this application, this document right here. So what we're going to do is type in uh, uno conv and then we're going to do dash F for format, and let's just do PDF uh, to start off, and we'll do mydoc.odt. Uh, we'll hit enter on that, and then I'll just use xdg-open, which I've gone over in the past, is one of few applications that will open whatever document you give it, uh, whatever file you give it in the default application. So, oh, of course I just typed in the wrong file. I wanted the PDF. So let's do that. And here we go, this is the PDF. And as you can see, it kept all our formatting just as it was in the uh, Office document. And PDFs are a great format for sharing documents, uh, as long as the other person doesn't have to edit them. Uh, uh, PDFs are an open format, 
which is great. And as I said, they uh, keep their formatting from computer to computer, unlike a lot of Office documents that may change regarding what fonts are on a computer or what application you're using opening it. So that's just a little, um, you know, a little promotion there for PDF files. I do promote them for when you're sharing documents with other people that don't have to be uh, edited. Anyway, let's uh, run our command again, uno conf dash f, and let's do HTML, and then the name of our text uh, Word document here. And I got that earlier as well, I got a segment fault. If that happens, just run the command again. It seems to just happen occasionally, uh, which is a little annoying, uh, I've only been playing with this program for maybe 15, 20 minutes before I did this tutorial, and it happened to me uh, once. And I, I, so this is the second time it's happened to me. So I don't know how often it happens, but so far it's happened to me twice in about uh, 15, 20 minutes. So anyway, let's first list all our files. You'll see that we have an HTML file here, and we also have a PNG file, which is uh, basically going to be, if we display that out, um, should be the image, yes, the little image that is inside that document. But if we start up our web browser, I'll use Epiphany in this case. Um, and yes, we'll open up the my doc HTML. So there you go. Uh, we did lose a little bit of formatting because we are converting to a completely different format here. Once again, that's why I uh, promote PDF files. But if you need to convert an Office document for the most part, um, this this looks pretty much like the original document did. Besides the image not being centered here, uh, where's the original document? Um, I would say that it's pretty close. Uh, the only reason these these paragraphs look different is because it is going to the full width of the web page, which is uh, wider than our our document is here. So it isn't wrapping around because there's no need to wrap around. So really, besides the moving of uh, the image here. Um, Everything's the same, although with HTML files, uh, if fonts are different on different machines, the fonts will look different because fonts are not embedded into these HTML files. Okay, so that's, uh, that's Word documents. Let's move on. Let's look at uh, spreadsheets real quick. Here's a very simple spreadsheet I set up with just some random words. I did give some formatting to them. Uh, and let's go ahead and convert that. So we'll go in here. Let's uh, kill Epiphany Browser. And I will go into a folder called, once again, I forgot what I called the folder for that. I should keep notes, you know. Uh, oh, spreadsheet with capital S. I don't know why I did that. Let's see. Okay. So in here we have our, I saved it as an Excel, uh, an XLS file, which is an Excel spreadsheet file, just to show that this can work with Office doc, uh, uh, Microsoft documents as well. And, um, so regardless of whether this is an XLS file or if it's an ODS file, which is an open document spreadsheet, we can still use uh, uh, unoconf-f. And once again, we'll go default uh, of a PDF to start off. And then, of course, the name of our file. And there we go. I got that segment fault again. Run it again. I, I don't know why that happens. I guess if you're using this in script, uh, just use a uh, if-then statement to check to make sure that the file that you convert to exists after you convert it. If not, loop again until it does exist is my only recommendation for that. Um, hopefully this is a bug that they fix in the future. But for the most part, this app, this uh, Uno uh, convert uh, works pretty good. If we list out our files here, you can see we have our PDF file. And I'll use odg-open just because I don't even know the name of the PDF viewer that I'm using. Uh, so I'll open that up, and there you go. You can see that you lose the cells as far as visually. Well, actually, I'm just now realizing that's because I don't have any width to my cells. Let's real quickly try something here. I'm going to select all these, and let's see. Uh, I don't work in Office very much. Uh, cell formatting, and let's give a border to all our cells here. We'll save it again. We'll close out this PDF file, and we'll once again run that same uno convert pdf uh, my spreadsheet.xls, and we will open that up again. And now, there we go. So if you want to be able to view the cells themselves 
in whatever you convert to, be sure to give them some sort of uh, width. Um, and of course, we can also do a lot of other formats. I'll just quickly just do HTML again here, uh, just because that's a fun little format to convert to. It's interesting seeing how it does stuff. We should, I would think, only get one file because there's no images here. Oh, uh, recover, because I killed the application before. Here we go, open up uh, Epiphany Browser. And it didn't really, uh... oh, that's why, because I opened up the XLS file rather than the HTML file. Make sure you're opening up the proper file. There we go. I did kind of lose a little bit of formatting on the outer edge of the cells here, but for the most part, we've got the uh, right you know, font size and italicized and bolding where we need it. Uh, let's quickly look here at um, um, presentations. So here we go. I'll go into a folder I have called Prez. Clear the screen. And actually, I, I know there's a shortcut key. I think it's uh, Control L maybe to clear the screen. Viewers get mad when I don't use that. Um, so uh, here we go. Presentation. Where's my presentation. Here we go. So here's our presentation. We got a three-page presentation, once again, with a image in it as well. And we got background images as well. Let's see what happens when we convert this to, well, once again, just do PDF and HTML. Although, once again, there's plenty of formats it can convert to. We'll do uh, Uno convert again, uh, dash F. We'll do a PDF first, and we'll do the name of our file, which is uh, prez.odp. Now you'll notice there's another file here. It's a hidden file actually, and that's just because I have the file open up in uh, OpenOffice, so that's like a temporary working file. And we'll do um, xdg open again, and the name of our file. It'd be good if I did the whole name of the file, and I want the PDF, not the ODP here. And here we go. We got a um, a, uh, a PDF, and each slide is a separate page in here. So we'll close this out, and let's do the same thing. Once again, if we list out files, you'll see that we have two files here, not counting the hidden file. Uh, we have our PDF and our uh, OpenOffice uh, presentation. Let's do Uno Convert, and we'll do, once again, HTML. And you'll notice here when I list this out, it has now created the HTML, multiple HTML files and JPEG files. Uh, those JPEG files are basically the images in the backgrounds, and the HTML files are basically uh, the presentation. This is the main page, and then you have, um, as you'll see here when I open it up in the web browser, you have um, a text-based version of the presentation and a graphical version of the presentation. So let's open that up. We'll open up the uh, main page here, which will be the name of your input file, which was prez, but .html. And we open it up, you can see it brings us to the main page, and I can continue through this as a slideshow, but in HTML format. So this is great if you wanted to throw this up on a web page, and you can go back and forward, you can jump to last and first, but you notice there's a button that says text. And here is a plain text version uh, well, actually, it's not plain text because it still has formatting, but it doesn't have the images. And this is great, once again, if you're a command line user and you want to use a text browser. Well, anyway, this is uh, using Uno Convert to convert different Office documents into multiple different formats. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, and I ask you to please visit filmsbychris.com. The link's in the description. Also visit our Facebook fan page, and I hope that you have a great day. Mm -hmm.